Okay, so I finally found one of these Kipling pin cases. <coughs> Excuse me. They retail for, I think, like $49 on the Kipling site. But I got it for $20, so that's pretty good. But here's what it looks like on the inside. I got it at TJ Maxx. So go look at your TJ Maxx and see if they have one. That's what it looks like empty and it zips all the way around. And it has this little monkey or whatever grill on it. Okay, so I got my Kipling set up. Kipling pin case. And um, you're going to hear a lot of mamas in the background because she's in a mood, I guess. I don't know if you're very needy today. Um, anyway, it is, I got it at TJ Maxx. Like I think I've already posted or said, but it's $19.99. And it says compare at $35. Well, I've seen them for more than that. I'll have to look up the price, but I was thinking they were at least 40 Yeah, 49 Man, $49. That's how much it was at, um, at um, Macy's when I saw it. Anyway, it's supposed to be a 100-pin case. And um, like I said, it's Kipling. And it came with this little gorilla, <laughs> or whatever this guy is, charm. I might put something on there. I don't know. So, anyway, I've been, I was looking for one of these, um, well, I wasn't, I, I looked at one place. I, I saw, I saw one, I've seen them online, and I've wanted one, but I didn't want to pay 50 bucks for it, plus shipping. So, um, I kind of forgot about it. And every time somebody would post about it, I'd go back and look and consider it. And I thought, yeah, I can't spend that much on a pen case. I mean, that's as much as, as, um, I don't know, a cheaper file effects or something. I don't know. Anyway, so... Someone posted that they were seeing them at TJ Maxx. So, I, you know, kind of thought, oh, I'll never find one at mine. And I had some time Saturday, so I ran to a TJ, or went to a TJ Maxx and looked. And it was the first one I saw, The I mean, the first one I stopped at. And they, they had the silver, so I went ahead and got it. Because um, it's solid color. I didn't want some wild orange or yellow or anything. So, I was kind of happy that I got the silver. Mom. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I gave her um, a snack in her, look, we made a tent because we can't go outside today. It's rainy and and wet. So, um, well, actually, it's not raining. It's just still wet because it's been cool. But we're hoping that the sun's out. So we're hoping tomorrow our sandbox will be dry and stuff. But anyway, so she's having a snack in her tent. Anyway, back to the Kipling. It's got a nice, strong zipper. However, it is pulling a little bit at the zipper. I don't know if it, I mean, it's not going to tear. I think they're made pretty good. But it does have some, some, some stress on the, on the seams there. So I have to be careful with that. I don't know if it really is holding 100 pins because I didn't count. I'm doing this one-handed, so excuse me. Oh, there goes my um, thumb there or something. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to open this with one hand. It's not, it's not. Oh, it's not that hard, actually, but it wasn't that easy either. Okay, so first off, doesn't that look pretty? <laughs> These were so hard to get in, so maybe it's not made for flares, but I wanted my flares in here because they're colorful and pretty, and they're the ones I use. It ain't going to happen because I do not see myself using these and taking the time to stick them back in this little thing. So I'll put some... You know, maybe my little, unless I stretched it out too much, maybe my little pins, or maybe I'll do these little decorative um, Disney pins that I pick up. You know, something pretty. But anyway, that's 20 pins right there. And then there's a spot here for one, and I skipped a spot somewhere. I skipped a spot like right here, because they, oh my goodness, they were so hard to get in. So anyway, there's 20 right there. So this, this I think this holds 22, because like I said, two spots that I didn't do. Now, one thing that I was a little disappointed with is they could have put some more of those little things there. But then, they were hard to put in, so I might not even use them. Anyway, then this, I mean, this might be 100 pins, I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not counting them, but I just threw a bunch of pins in here. Okay, so maybe I'll get to finish this video. I don't remember where I was, but I had to, I ran out of memory. I was talking, 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 and looked down, and it wasn't even recording. 
So I think I said um, that I've been putting different pens in here so I would remember to use them. I think I said that part. And you could also put pens up here. I put, I put some washi tape just to show. I mean, I'm not carrying this around because I've already decorated for Halloween. But I will keep some white out in there. It's, that's not white out. Is that white out? No, that's adhesive. Anyway, I have white out that I'll keep in here and maybe some adhesive too. Um, but some washi tape will fit up here. And of course, more rolls would fit if you took them out of this box. I just put, I just threw that in there because I had it. But anyway, I, I think I'm going to like this part of it better than this part of it. So, I'm excited to try it out. Um, I I have lots of different kinds, and I want to be able, I want to be sure to use them. And the Wink of Stella, I hardly ever use. Their, their um, tips are fine. They're glittery. But they're not gel. They're not gel pen glittery. They're, um, let's see, Wink of Stella. What is Wink of Stella? Pigment ink. And they should be kept horizontal anyway, and I've had them vertical, so that's better for them anyway. Anyway, so um, I, I did keep my pens in my Rascot cart and in these little things. So, I mean, I still got plenty of pens here. I took a lot out, but, you know, I may rearrange them and see what I like better. I will keep, I'm probably going to keep my decorative pens in here because... They're the, I don't use them that often. They're cute, but they don't write really, they don't write very well, but I use them when I'm staging my pictures. I mean, I know that's silly, but you know, whatever. That's what you do. So anyway, um, I still have pins in there. I was I was thinking, oh, what am I going to keep in here now? Well, I still have them in there. And then this is empty. I, I kept my Wink of Stella in here. What's the matter, honey? Oh dear. I'll fix it in a minute. Okay. So I did keep my Wink of Stella in here. So I'll, you know, I'll find something else to put in there, I guess, or retire that for a while the this i keep my um my sharpie fine they're not sharpie pins they're the let's see if I can get one out to show you they're these sharpie oops that's kind of close the sharpie they're not gonna it's not gonna focus focus Okay, well, it's not going to focus, but it's the Ultra Fine Sharpies. And I use these to write on washi tape and also use them to mark um, how she's grown. On, we have a little growth chart that we use. That up there. So I'll keep these in here, most likely, because I don't use them that often. Anyway, I'll have to fix that in a minute. Okay, and then in here, I had this is where I had my um, flares. I just think that is so cute, but... I'll find something else to do with that. I have several of these anyway because I bought them. I found them on clearance, and then people was like, "Oh, can you pick me one up?" And then nobody paid. And then well, a few people paid for them, but I have like four now because some people didn't pay for them. Anyway, um, so i you know I can also put some stamps in here if I wanted to, and you know I just like this this part because you can carry so much. So you know this will be good for on the go. And when I say on the go, I mean on the go from place to place in the house. <laughs> I could probably also, oh, I do have scissors in here. I, I have my um, smash, I got several, a couple of these, not several, a couple of these, and they're smash the scissors that I can keep in there as well. They're not the easiest things to use, but there's not much you're going to be cutting, or that I cut when I'm using planners. But anyway, like, you know, see these stamps will fit in there. If I, well, that would fit in there right there. But I do need to take some of this stuff out because, like, like I showed you at the first of the video, it does have some kind of stress, and I don't want it to. I don't want it to tear because even though I didn't pay full price, twenty dollars for a pen case is still, you know, not, not throwaway money. Anyway, um, so my first impression of the Kipling is it's it's fun. I wanted it. I wouldn't have probably rested till I found one or bought one offline. So I'm glad I got it, and we'll see how I like it in the long run. So far, I like it, and I think it has good potential. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.